I built some of furniture. Right, in this video, I'm going to talk about my torches I'm going to use in a bug out situation. This is my opinion. This is not what I'm telling people they should have. This is my own opinion. To start off with, I'll talk about my everyday torch. And this one here it is the Guy Wolf Eyes E-5-2-3. Fantastic torch. Every day, because this is my everyday car, I've been trying to power this for 12 months and it's brilliant, it works. That would be my first go to. Sorry, pardon me. If I had to use a torch, I would have to use this, I would go for this one first. It's bright, I'm not going to shine it because there's no point. I'm still trying to turn it on. Right, this is another my own opinion, don't forget, guys. Yeah. But personally, in a bug situation, I personally think that you need a red lens torch. I don't know if you can see the electrical light bulb. There you go. This is a red lens torch. I have put some glow in the dark tape on it. I will be thinking about I am thinking about removing that glow in the dark tape because I honestly truly do not like it there anymore. So, yeah, this is my red lens torch. This one here always based on my bag, as you can see in the background there. With my, first, my, with my new first aid kit, but pouch. I will go. I will be doing a video of that soon. Um, yeah, but let's go back to the torches. So, in my opinion, basically, because red lens to me, or everybody, or actually everybody should, everybody knows. Yeah, red lenses. If you've got a red torch on, you don't lose your night vision. But if you've got a white or yellow light light on, you lose your night vision. So, I have this on my hip, oh, on my belt, and my rucksack. Fantastic, light. It's not light, it's reasonably heavy. It only takes one double A battery, as you can see. One double A battery, that's all it takes. Yeah, and I will be carrying maybe another spare packet or more, less. I haven't decided yet, but yeah, that's my what I call my thing. For long term, if it's a long term situation. Yeah, I have a wind up torch. This one here, I don't, I like it, I don't mind it, but it's so noisy. That to me, you're winding up your torch in the dark or winding up during the day, and you're going that to me, and you're trying to hide, it's going to give your position away. But it works again, it's a good torch. It's light, and yes, it may die because there is a battery in this when you're charging, but it may die. So when this one goes, or if I don't want to use this one because it makes up so much noise, yeah, I have a UCO candle lantern. I've only I've been, I've used this maybe 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds. I haven't used it properly yet because I haven't I, I don't know when I want to use it. But that there to me is my long term torch light. Yeah, I have another pack of three packs of candles there and then nine hour candles each so that's 27 candles that's 27 hours there plus that one there yeah it's quite a few hours i'm sorry i'm not very good with maths i'm not going to work that out if you want to work if you want to work that out and put it in the description be my guest but this here is my long term this long time i haven't found a pouch to stick these in what i like to stick them in so they don't break so if anybody's got recommendations so i can put these in a nice pouch so i don't get them all smashed up i would be really good grateful but right okay now that's my long term light as you know yeah i'm not gonna waste it i'm not gonna be horrible like that i'm not gonna be stupid you don't need to waste things so oh yeah, it's the same as batteries. Same as your torch. You use it sparingly. Yeah, you're reading a map, you use your red torch, you're reading a map, you read it for like that in 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds, then you turn it off. That's it. You don't need to turn it on and go, oh, what's out there? Oh, it's there. Oh, it's there. No, you don't need to do that, guys. Yeah, I've got another torch here. This is the one I take when I go hiking, camping. Yeah, it's another. Um, wolf. This, the, even this one's a wolf, wolf, um, sky wolf eyes torch. 
I don't know which one because I'm an idiot by putting the glow dark tape on it. So, as I said, that will be coming off. But yeah, this is another one I may take. I haven't decided on that, but I may take it. It's small and it's light. And it only takes one AAA battery, so yeah. Right, now we've gone for all the torches and all the lights. I will be taking on what I, I think be good in a survival situation. Now, this is my cash. Survival cash. Survival torch cash. I haven't decided if I want to keep it in this tin. I haven't decided if I want to make a put it in a bigger tin. And I haven't definitely have not decided how many batteries or how many stuff I could put with it. I'm not putting one of these in because one of these you have to crank up. You would have to crank that, or at least I've got to crank that at least once a week to make sure that's still got power. I've left it once to go completely dead, and it took me about I think it was about 20 minutes to wind up. To put some bit of power back into it, but it's not good to make these go dead completely at all. I promise you that. So, you've all seen my everyday carry torch. This one here, I have exactly the same torch in here. Yeah, these things cost me a lot, so I've got quite a few of these. So, yeah, I will be doing a cash one of these, of these, one of these. Yeah, they're very good torches. They're water, they're water resistant. They're not waterproof. Sorry, guys, the sewers come up. This one works. But they're really good. I like them. I think they're fantastic. And I keep and I'm going to put some batteries in this thing. So this is a question for you guys: How many batteries would you carry in your bag? And if you were doing a survival torch cache. How many batteries would you put in that cash? Right, so that so took a bit longer than what I expected. So please like, please share, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. And in the next one, I'm hoping to show you my new first aid kit. It won't be this way, it'll be somewhat different way. So yeah, please like, as I said, please like, please share, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. If you want to email me, my email address will be in the in the description. Okay guys, I'll see you soon. Bye 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 bye.